my Japanese lesson of dreams. Today, I will teach you how to say brain in Japanese. Yahoo! How do you say this? You say... Nomiso. Oh, it's difficult to remember, no? But it's okay. Leave it to Sensei Joe. My brain is where I do all the thinking. My brain knows me so well. Knows me so well. Know me so. 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 You are welcome, Aslings, that's it. I will see you guys in the next lesson, that's it. Welcome to my lesson, Aslings. I'm gonna tell you how to say, where's the restroom? In Japanese. You say, Toide wa doko desu ka? Don't worry, Sensei Joe is in the house. Toide is simple. It's just toide. Next, doko is where. Toide wa doko. How do you remember this? Where's the restroom? Where do I go? Where do I go? Where do I go? Wa doko? Wa doko? Bingo! To make this sentence polite, you add deska at the end of the sentence. You say, Toide wa doko deska. How do you remember? When you have a question, where do you go? You go to the information desk. Go to the desk to ask. Desk ask. Desk ask, deska, deska. Wow! Toide wa doko deska. Oh! There you have it, folks. Sensei Joe! I will see you guys next time. Daze! Welcome to my lesson as links. Today, I would like to teach you how to say street and road in Japanese. How do you say it? Street is tori in Japanese. So you remember it like this. Street, 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 tori, tori, tori. Oh, yes. How about road? The road, the road, the road, the road, the road, the road, the road. That was easy, wasn't it? I will see you guys in the next Japanese lesson. As things. What's up, Aslings? Welcome to my Japanese lesson once again. Japanese! Japanese! So, what am I going to teach you today? I will teach you how to say what do you mean in Japanese? How do you say it? You say do you in it? What? Why does it sound so hard? Don't worry. Because Sensei Joe is in the house. Just remember this. What do you mean? 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 Bingo! But don't forget to make this sentence polite. How do you do this? Do you remember my lesson? Of course you do, my asslings. So you add do deska at the end of the sentence. Do you imi deska? <gasps> Until next time, Joe Sensei's lesson. Sexy pose. Welcome to my Japanese lesson, Aslings. Today, I would like to teach you how to say shallow and deep in Japanese. <laughs> how do you say shallow in Japanese? You say asai. You remember it like, okay, I can stand here. It's I, it's I, asai, asai. <laughs> now, how do you say deep? You say fukai. Hmm, how do you remember that? It's quite far down there, huh? It's quite far. Far quite. Far quite. Fukai. Fukai. <laughs> As you can see, I am holding a microphone. If I drop this, I am royally f***ed. But I am doing this all for you. Because I'm the best sensei in the universe, in the galaxy. Now, if you will, I will have some fun. <laughs> Welcome to my lesson, Aslings. Today, I would like to teach you how to say rainy and sunny in Japanese. <laughs> how do you say rainy? You say ame. <laughs> how do you remember that? You say, oh man, it's raining. Oh man, oh man, oh man, oh man, oh man, oh man. <laughs> How about the sunny? You are happy when it's sunny, right? So you say, Hooray, it's sunny! Hooray, hooray, hooray! Hare, hare, hare! I will see you guys in the next Japanese lesson. Aslings. What is the difference between Douyu Imi and Douyu Koto? What's up, Aslings? Welcome to my Japanese lesson. Today, I would like to teach you guys how to say forest in Japanese. Dinosaurs. 
How do you say forest in Japanese? You say mori. That's so difficult. How do you remember? Don't worry, guys. Sensei Joe is in the house. Or should I say in the mori? Zombies. You have to be quiet. You remember it like this. You get to see more leaves in the forest. More leaves. More leaves. More leaves. More leaves. Mori. 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 Amazing. Yatta. Until next time, folks. I will see you guys in my Japanese lesson. What is the difference between Douyu Imi and Douyu Koto? What's up, Buzzlings? Welcome to my Japanese lesson. Today, I would like to teach you how to say nature in Japanese. How do you say it? You say shizen. Oh, so difficult to remember. But don't worry, Sensei Joe is in the house. I have a friend who's a girl who's into yoga. She experiences zen. She experiences zen. She zen. She zen home. She zen. There you have it, folks. I will see you guys in the next lesson. Tori, Tori, and Tori, they all sound so similar. Welcome to my Japanese lesson, Hasslings. There is a very famous statue of a dog in Japan. His name is Hachiko. Today, I will teach you how to say dogs in a very affectionate way. You say, One chan. Interestingly enough, there's another word. One chan meaning one chance. Oh, so confusing. How do you remember these two? Check out the intonation. When you say one chan for dogs, the intonation goes down because dogs sit down. One chan. Meanwhile, when you want to say one chance, Japanese people abbreviate it and say one chan, intonation goes up because you only got one opportunity to grasp your dreams and fly into the sky and go up. One chan. So there you have it. For dogs, you go down. One chan. For one chance, you go up. One chan. I hope you enjoyed this lesson. I will see you guys in the next one. Aslings. Welcome to my Japanese lesson, Aslings. Today, I would like to teach you how to say crossing. You say kousaten. Oh, it's so difficult. How do I remember? Simple, leave it to Sensei Joe. You have to cross suddenly. Cross sudden, cross sudden, kousaten, kousaten. There you have it, folks. Now, before the light changes, we're gonna go back, okay? I will see you guys in the next lesson. Minna, welcome to my Japanese lesson. Does it? Nani? Let's learn how to say fun in Japanese. Yo, you are it. Ikuyo. How do you say fun in Japanese? Nano? You say tanoshi. Demo, how do I remember it? It seems so difficult. Da yo ne. Daijoubu. Don't worry, Aslings. Sensei Joe is in the house. There are tons of things to see at the sea. Tons of sea. Tanoshi. 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 Yeah. So easy to remember, does it? I will see you guys in the next lesson. Mata ne. Ja ne. Oh, hey, Aslings. No, I was just thinking about my past, my memories. I'm sure that you are wondering how to say memories in Japanese. How do you say it? You say omoide. How do you remember this? You think of it like this. I was thinking about all my days in the past. All my days. All my day. All my day. Omoide. 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 Oh. There you have it, folks. My life has been a mixture of bitterness, sweetness, sourness, and spiciness. I will see you guys in my next lesson. Welcome to my Japanese lesson, Aslings! Today, I would like to teach you how to say spin in Japanese. So, how do you say spin? You say, Mawaru. Ah, nande? So, it's so hard to remember, does it? But it's okay, daijoubu. Leave it to Sensei Joe. You remember it like this. My world is spinning, spinning around. My world, my world, my world, my world, my world, my world. I will see you guys in the next lesson, Dionne. Aslings. 
Welcome to my lesson, Earthlings! Today, we will learn how to say wind in Japanese. As you can see, the wind is blowing very hard, like some people. My hair is looking like Super Saiyan. Goku will be very proud of me right now. So how do you say wind in Japanese? You say kaze. How do you remember? Simple. What causes the wind to blow? Heating and differences in air pressure cause it. Cause it. Cause it. Cause it. Cause it. Cause it. Yes, you did it, Earthlings. Now you have to be aware that kaze can also mean cold, like catching a cold. You can think of it like this. What causes one to catch a cold? Bacteria, virus, or simply your immunity sucks. Yeah. So there you have it, folks. I will see you guys in the Next lesson! Hello, Earthlings! Welcome to my lesson! Today, I'm gonna teach you how to say dance in Japanese! Woo! How do you say it in Japanese? You say odoru! Oh, that's hard to remember! But don't worry, Sensei Joe is in the house! So, when you are dancing, your body starts smelling. Oh, I'm a pizza juice! I'm a pizza juice! Animal smell, animal style! Oh, odor! 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 Boogie oogie boogie oogie! So there you have it, folks! Sensei Joe's original lesson! Dance and have fun! Oh, sexy juice! Welcome to my Japanese lesson! <laughs> Sensei Joe is in the house. Why am I so excited today? Actually, I'm not. In my last video, I was very quiet. I was respecting the environment of the last video. And people were like, Oh, it's not the same Sensei Joe. Why is his energy very low? Because I'm a human being too. I think. Respect me. If you guys want high energy, then you got it. You got it, mother. Let's talk about high energy. How do you say it in Japanese? You say tension takai. What? Tension? Takai means high. So high tension. What does it mean? What does it mean? I know, I know. It does not make too much sense in this context. But in Japan, so many people use it. Okay? So get used to it. Tension takai is like this. <laughs> I will see you guys in the next video. And in case I do a quiet lesson, you better love me for who I am. No matter what kind of videos I post. Okay? I will see you guys in the next video. <laughs> Beep, beep. Oh, welcome, Earthlings! Japanese lesson. Today, I'm gonna teach you how to say cheap and expensive like OMG. Oh. Cheap is yasui. Mm, how do you remember? When you find something cheap, how do you feel? You feel like, oh, yeah, sweet. 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 Now, expensive is takai. Mm, that's another difficult one to remember. But don't worry. If you watched my last video, I already talked about the word takai. This also means tall, high. So you can remember it like the price is high. The price is tall. Tall guy, tall guy, tall guy, tall guy, tall guy, tall guy, takai. Or we are talking about height, talk height, talk height. Takai, 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 takai! Oh, hello, Earthlings. Welcome to my Japanese lesson, does it? Oh. If you remember my recent video, I farted. Yes, that's right. I elegantly farted in my video, does it? Oh. And many people wanted to know how to say fart in Japanese. Oh. Due to popular demand, let me teach you. Are you ready? You say, Onara. <laughs> how should I remember that? It's quite simple, baby. Oh. Unless you are me. The more you fart, the more people will hate you. You fart once, that's okay. You fart twice, people will say, Oh, not again. 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 Unfortunately, I am out of my butthole ammunition today. I guess I will have to onara when you least expect it. Like life? <laughs> Hello, 
was rings. Why does it always have to be windy when I film outside? Why is it so? Regardless, I came here for you for my awesome Japanese lesson once again. Are you ready? Today, I'm going to teach you how to say the sun in Japanese. The sun is powerful. The sun is sexy. The sun makes everything bright. Brighter than my future. So how do you say it in Japanese? You say Taiyo. Mm, how should I remember this? Don't worry, guys. Sensei Jo is in the house. The sun is wonderful, but if you get too much sunlight, you get tired. 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 Taiyo. 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 There you go, guys! And that's how you remember how to say Taiyo san in Japanese. I will see you guys in the next lesson. Aslings. Watch out! Hello, Aslings! Welcome to my Japanese lesson! This lesson is gonna be super duper useful! I will teach you how to say here, there, over there, and where! Koko, soko, asoko, and doko! What? That's so difficult to remember! Don't worry! Did you already forget who I am? I am Sensei Jo! Woo, woo, woo. If you forget, ask Sensei Jo! A S K! Here is Koko, there is Soko! Over there is asoko. Where is doko? Asoko, soko, koko. Ask. Very clever. What about doko? You don't know where something or someone is. Remember to start with the letter D. Doko. Jo Sensei's ask method can be applied to other things like kore, sore, are, dore. But for this lesson, let's just keep it at this. Okay. I hope you enjoyed my awesome original lesson. Now, why the f does it always have to be windy when I record something? Mother. F Ah, kawaii! Oh yes! Psycho da! Ah, 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 kimochi! Oh, oh, hey, 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 guys! <laughs> Welcome to my Japanese lesson! Today, I would like to teach you how to say. Hey, ah, katto da se! You say, sanpatsu. What? It's so difficult to remember! <laughs> Don't worry, Sensei Jo is in the house. So, you remember it like this. When you get a haircut, you cut some parts of your hair. Some parts of your hair, some parts, some parts, some parts, some parts! There you go, guys. I will see you guys in the next video. Oh, yo. Okay, okay, sexy beast, sexy beast! Hello, Aslings! Welcome to my Japanese lesson! Today, I would like to tell you how to say Autumn leaves. It is the season, as you can see. How do you say this in Japanese? It's very easy. You say Koyo. Hmm, how do I remember this? No problem. Sensei Jo is in the house. Japanese master. Autumn leaves, so beautiful. You better call your friends. Call your friends. Call your friends. Call your, 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 call There you have it, folks. And that is how you remember how to say autumn leaves in Japanese. 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 See you guys, baby. Check it out. Oh, yes. Oh, yes, baby. Oh, yes. Ooh. Hola, como estas? Welcome to my Japanese lexion, amigos. Today, I would like to show you how to say clock in Japanese. Clock, 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 clock. What time is it? Time to party, baby. So, how do you say it? You say toke. Oh, mamma mia. Muy difficult. So difficult. How do you remember? Don't worry. No problem. You remember it like this. What is the clock doing? It's tick-tocking, right? Tick-tock, tick-tock. So, it's tick-tocking. Tick-tocking, talking, 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 talking. Toke, 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 toke. There you have it, amigos. I will see you in the next lexion. Now, what time is it? As I said, it's time to party, baby. Uh, Welcome to my Japanese lesson, Aslings. Today, I will teach you how to say sueto in Japanese. How do you say it? You say ase. <laughs> That's so difficult to remember, does it? So, don't worry. Daijoubu, Sensei Jo is in the ie da yo. You remember it like this. I sweat. I sweat. I sweat. I sweat. I said. I said. I said. I said. I said. I said. Yatta. I will see you guys in the next lesson. Aslings. Mata ne.
Welcome to my Japanese lesson. As links, today's kanji is this. This character means to send, like sending mail. So how do you remember this? Well, let the Sensei Joe, the artist, illustrate for you. Drawing, drawing, Sensei's drawing. Tada! Look, a delivery person. He's on a motorcycle and he's carrying something on his back. Looks like a box. And we take it a step further. Are you ready? Drawing, drawing, Sensei's drawing. Tada! And finally, it's complete. Now you remember this kanji character. By the way, there are mainly two ways to read this character. Okuru, or if you want to combine it with other kanji characters, you read it like so, like you so, which means send by mail. Okay, guys, Sensei Joe's original lesson. I will see you guys in the next lesson, okay? Mata ne! <laughs> Welcome to my lesson, Aslings. Today, I will teach you how to say hand and feet in Japanese. How do you say hand? You say te. How do you remember that? You use your hands to take something like this sexy silver ball. Take, 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 take. Yes, that is hand in Japanese. But what about feet? Don't worry, Sensei Joe is in the house. <laughs> hmm. What happens if you step on a Lego block with your feet? You say ah. Ah, shit, ah, shit, ah, shit. There you have it, folks. That concludes my awesome original lesson. See you! <laughs> Hello, welcome to my lesson, Aslings. Today, I would like to teach you how to say bus stop in Japanese. As you can see, it's quite easy. You just say baste. It sounds like baste, baste, basta, 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 bus stop. Oh, yes. So, there you have it, folks. I will see. Oh, 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 wait, guys. Don't, don't leave me. Welcome to my Japanese lesson, baby athletes! Yeah. Today, I would like to teach you how to say, what the heck? What's wrong? Help, I'm a foreigner and I'm lost in Japan. Oh. Have you seen Miku-chan? I'm looking for Miku-chan. I don't know where Miku-chan is, but I can help you. Eh? You see, you are lost, my athlete. I can teach you how to say this in Japanese. You say, maigo. Can you remember this? Uh, lost. No, 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 no. That is not correct. You remember it like this. You don't know where you might go. Might go, might go, might go together. Might go, 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 Yo, that was dope, man. That was dope. Yo, definitely hit me up, man. Wait, I'm still lost, though. Welcome to my Japanese lesson. Today, I would like to teach you how to say in Japanese. How do you say this? You say It's impossible to remember the day. Don't worry. Did you already forget who I am? I am Sensei Jodaza. You remember it like this. Every sexy park has sexy trees, sexy leaves. Hot park. Hot park. Hot park. Hot park. And that is how you remember leaves. <sighs> Welcome to my lesson. Today's Japanese lesson. I will teach you how to say. How do you say it in Japan? You say, Anna. How should I explain this to remember easily? If there is a hole somewhere, I might be able. Oh! There's a perfect hole! This is... Oh, no! Oh, no! Oh, no! Oh, no! Hello, Aslings! Welcome to Sensei Joe's Japanese lesson. <coughs> I love the beach. It's always midsummer in my pants. Yeah. How do you say midsummer in Japanese? You say manatsu. Mmm, so difficult to remember. Don't worry, Sensei Joe is in the house. So how do you say it? Well, it's so hot that my nuts are roasting. My nuts! My nuts, 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 my nuts. Don't worry, Aslings. These are innocent coconuts. They won't bite. <laughs> Yet. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed. See you in the next lesson. Want some nuts? Want some nuts? Boom! Boom! Welcome to my Japanese lesson, Aslings. What am I going to teach you today? I will teach you how to say ka in Japanese. So how do you say it? You say kuruma. 
Why does everything sound so difficult like life? Don't worry. You remember it like this. I heard a rumor that asshole bought a new car. I heard a rumor. Cool 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 rumor. Sensei Joe's original lesson. I will see you guys later. <gasps> Welcome to my Japanese lesson, Aslings. What am I gonna teach you today? I will teach you how to say rice in Japanese. You say okome. Oh, that's so difficult to remember. How do I remember? It's easy. Leave it to Sensei Joe. You simply remember it like this. I need more rice. And the farmer said, oh, if you need more rice, call me. Okome, 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 Wow! That's how you say rice in Japanese, Aslings. <laughs> Hello, Aslings. This is Sensei Joe. Today, I will teach you how to say public transportation in Japanese. So how do you say it? This is gonna be a long one. You say Kokyo Kotsu Kikan. What? Nani? That's too long, baby. That's crazy, bro. Don't worry. Sensei Joe is in the Baha'i. Let me tell you a little story. Once upon a time, there was a lady who loved driving and her name was Kyoko. People wanted to get going. They wanted to travel. So what did they do? They called Kyoko to get going. Ko 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 Kyoko to get going. Wow! There you have it, folks. I will see you guys in the next one, baby. Para pop, salama po. As you can see, I'm at the waterfall. You guys got lucky today. I'm gonna teach you guys two words. First one is very easy. Waterfall. In Japanese, you say taki. Waterfall is what we are talking about. Talking about. Talking about. Talking. Taki. 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 Okay, so what's the next lesson? Well, some people in Japan go under the waterfall to train their mind and soul. Like Goku, Naruto, Luffy. You know when they go under intense training? You call that Shugyo. So how do you remember that? Why Shugyo at all? Well, because you want to seek your power. Seek your power. Seek your, 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 Mmm, tasty. Well, there you have it, folks. I will see you guys in the next one, baby. Hello, Aslings. Today, I would like to teach you how to say winter in Japanese. For winter, you say Fuyu. Yes, that's right. Oh. It's December, but I am at the beach. Just because I'm in my flip flops, it does not mean that the weather is warm or hot. So don't let the season fool you. Fool you, fool you. Fool you, fool you. Fool you. Also, my friends are always surprised that I am swimming at the beach during the winter. They are like, what? Who? You? Go to the beach? Who? You? Who? You? Who? You? Who? You? There you have it, folks. I will see you guys in the next lesson, baby. <laughs> see you later, alligator, terminator, Darth Vader. Such a nice day. Shubidba, baby. Oh, 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 hi, Aslings. Welcome to Sensei Joe's Japanese lesson. Japanese lesson. <laughs> what am I gonna teach you today? I'm gonna teach you how to say street lights. So how do you say it? You say gaito. What? It can't be. It's so difficult to remember. I'm gonna go crazy, baby. Don't worry. Sensei Joe's got your back. Street lights are like torches that guide you. Guide torch, guide torch, guide torch, guide torch. Guide torch. There you have it. I will see you guys in the next awesome original lesson, guys. Oh, where are you going? Oh, too sexy to handle. Buddha. Shake your booty. One, two, three. Oh, <laughs> hello, Aslings. Welcome to Sensei Joe's Japanese lesson. So what am I going to teach you today? I will teach you how to say AM and PM in Japanese. AM is gozen. PM is gogo. What? No. Why is it so hard to remember? What should I do? Don't worry, folks. Sensei Joe is in the ie. Remember it like this. AM includes the morning, right? It is such a blessing to wake up every morning. It is truly a godsend. Godsend, 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 godsend,
also include the sunset, right? What happens to the sky? The sky will turn orange. Or should I say gold? Golden sunset. Gold, gold. Gold, gold. Gold, 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 Hello, Aslings. Welcome to my Japanese lesson. Do you see the beautiful sky? Today, I will teach you how to say blue sky in Japanese, baby. How do you say this? You say aozora. Mm, that's quite difficult. What should I do? Don't worry. Sensei Joe is in the house. I want to soar up into the sky, to the blue sky. I soar up. I soar up. Azora, 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 Azora. Oh, yes. Yes, yes, yes. And that is how you say blue sky in Japanese, baby. Oh, oh, oh. oh. Can you see me? Can you see my moves, baby? Do you want to love me, baby? I am the blue sky. Oh, yes. Give me more. Give me more. Come on, come on, baby. Come on, baby. Oh, what's up? What's up? It's a too hot, man! Welcome, Aslings, to my Japanese lesson! Are you guys ready? How do you say old school? You can see the remnants of the good old days of Japan. So how do you say this in Japanese? You say, Mukashi nagara no. What? That sounds so difficult! This is how you remember. I'm not gonna lie. The mood is very cozy. When things are old-fashioned, right? The mood is cozy. Not gonna lie, no. Mood is cozy. Not gonna lie, no. Mukashi nagara no. Mukoshi nagara no. Mukoshi nagara no. Mukashi nagara no. Mukashi nagara no. There you have it, folks. Sensei Joe did it again. There are many new buildings being built in Japan, but let's preserve the beautiful spots. I guess I'll see you guys in the next lesson, Aslings. My nuts! <laughs> What's up, Aslings? Welcome to Sensei Joe's As you can see, I am waiting for my friend. Where is my friend? It's a meetup, you know? So what am I going to teach you guys today? Today, I will teach you how to say Meetup in Japanese, baby. How do you say it? You say What? 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 Another difficult word, Aslings! Don't worry, did you already forget who I am? I am Sensei Joe. How much longer should I wait for my friend? Oh, not much, I would say. Mm, not too much. I would say. Much I 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 say. <laughs> Sensei Joe's original lesson. A dance, a dance, a dance, a dance. Yes, this is awkward as hell. I will see you guys in the next one. Until then, rock on! Check my homepage to joyno.com. Check my homepage to you lazy bastards. Hello, Aslings. Welcome to my Japanese lesson. Today's lesson is suspicious. Oh, how do you say this in Japanese? You say, Oyashi. That's impossible. How do I remember this? Don't worry, Aslings. Sensei Joe is in the house. So, how do you remember? You remember like this. All you see is my silhouette. All you see? All you see. Oh yes, there you have it folks. Sensei Joe did it again. I will see you guys in the next lesson. 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 Hello, Aslings! Welcome to my Japanese lesson! I have big news today! Guess what? My Instagram page now has 1 million subs! Can you believe it? Shinji Rarenai! Nani? So, you definitely know what I am gonna teach you today, right? I'm gonna teach you how to say 1 million in Japanese! <laughs> how do you say it? You say 100万! Oh, so difficult! Don't worry, Sensei Joe is in the ear, baby! <laughs> You remember it like this. Think of the reaction I got when I realized that I had 1 million subs. Yeah, cool man! 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 Sensei Joe did it again! Thank you so much for your support and love. I still the minna. I still you guys, okay? Now, let's get going, babies. I mean, Aslings. Woo! Welcome to my Japanese lesson, Aslings. Today, I came to a Yokocho in Japan. Yokocho is a small, narrow alley that has restaurants and bars. How do you remember how to say Yokocho? Here's a great tip from Sensei Joe. When you come to a Yokocho, you got your food and drink. You got your food and drink. You got your, you got your, Yokocho, Yokocho. There you have it. Now, I don't want to speak in a loud voice. I want to respect the environment. So, this was a quiet lesson from Sensei Joe. I'll see you guys later. Towards night.